Convert three weeks to days. Well, we know that one day, one week, dang it, has seven days. So if I have three weeks, now again, not everyone needs this conversion stuff. But I'm going to show it to you guys just so you can get the hang of it. So we got weeks and days. Again, I have my day, uh, weeks in the denominator so that the weeks will cancel. Seven days a week. Three times seven is 21 days. Because my weeks canceled out. I didn't, I mean, I had a denominator there, but one times one is one, so 21 days. What about weeks to hours? This is a good one because it requires two conversions. Again, not that everyone needs it, but three weeks. Now we're going to convert this to hours. I don't have a week to hour conversion in that chart there, so I'm going to have to multiply this by number of days first. And it's seven days for one week so that cancels out my weeks but here's what I can do is I can multiply this immediately by changing days to hours right now well this may it just saves us one step if we do it like this so whether you do it or not is really up to you and we know there's 24 hours in one day so if I multiply my denominators there uh, I have one times one times one it's just one and my days cancel out, so I am left with the hours. That's good. That's what we wanted. But I've got to do 3 times 7 times 24, which uh, I get 504. 504 hours in three weeks. 11.28 minutes to minutes and seconds. Yeah, this is a good one. Now, this one kind of goes back to that pounds and ounces one, if I remember right. Uh, we already have 11 minutes right there. Okay, so we know it's 11 minutes. We just got to figure out how many seconds 0.28 minutes is. So 0 0.28 minutes. I'm going to convert this to seconds. So I'm going to have to divide that by minutes so that my minutes cancel out. And there's 60 seconds for every one minute. So I got 0.28 times the 60, which leaves me with 16.8 seconds because my minutes canceled out there it is 0.58 hours to minutes and seconds this one's a good one because it didn't tell us specifically how many minutes there were or seconds so it's not like number nine where we can just take that zero and say well there are no minutes so we got to figure out how many minutes 0.58 hours is 0 0.58 hours and we'll divide this by hours, comparing it with minutes. And whatever decimal we get out of this will be left over for the seconds. So there's 60 minutes in one hour. And yes, my hours cancel out. That's good. 0.58 times 60 gives us 34. That's minutes, by the way. 34.8 minutes. So I know from here I've got 34 minutes. I've just got to figure out how many seconds I have. So I'm just going to be looking at this 0.8 minutes, 0 0.8 minutes. I'll multiply this by, that's minutes, sorry, minutes in the denominator with seconds. One minute is 60 seconds. And now my minutes cancel out, which is good. 0.8 times 60, I get 48. And that would be in seconds. So 34 minutes, 48 seconds. Convert 2 hours, 4 minutes, and 48 seconds to just min minutes with decimals. So we got to figure out how many minutes are in 2 hours. So 2 hours. We'll convert this to minutes. So hours and minutes. One hour is 60 minutes, so this is 120 minutes. Now we still have this four minutes right here, so we'll add it to that. But let's figure out how much, how many minutes 48 seconds is. So 48 seconds times some number of minutes, four seconds, and it's 60 seconds for one minute. And my seconds cancel out. 
48 divided by 60, and I get 0 0.8 minutes. So when I add those minutes together over here to the left, I get 124 minutes. And then if I add the seconds, which was 0 0.8, 124.8 minutes. That'd be my answer. Zero point two eight hours. We're going to convert this to minutes. So I'm going to multiply this by some number of minutes. Four hours. So that my hour, hours will cancel out. We know that it's one hour for sixty minutes. So 0 0.28 times the 60 gives me 16.8 minutes. And again, don't, don't forget there is a 1 there. We are multiplying the denominators. It's just 1. I mean, if we wrote it like this, I'm okay with that. It's just most people like to see it just like this.